now at 11 dueling campaigns in Central Florida, an event for Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden wrapped up just hours ago, the former VP drumming up support from the Hispanic community in Kissimmee. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live in Kissimmee tonight with the details. Eric. Yeah, Lisa, according to an Osceola County commissioner who actually spoke at tonight's event, this area has 55 percent Hispanic population. Add to that that this area is right along I-4, a pivotal campaign section. Tonight, Biden was here asking for votes. Taking rigorous safeguards, Vice President Joe Biden celebrated the start of Hispanic Heritage Month with very few people at Osceola Heritage Park in Kissimmee. He tackled everything from the coronavirus in the economy to how America should be helping Puerto Rico. Promote economic development initiatives to support for families. Provide relief for the unsustainable debt, debt that exists on the island and expand access to education and workforce development. Biden was joined by Latin entertainers, including Ava Longoria, Ricky Martin, and Despacito singer Luis Fonsi, a graduate of Dr. Phillips High School in Orlando. When I arrived in Florida, I could barely speak English. By the time I left, I knew what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And the fact that I realized that dream proves that in this country, anything is possible. The support for who should be president was split among the people who gathered outside the event. Half held signs for Biden, the other half held signs for President Trump. And that echoes the findings of a new Monmouth University poll, which shows Biden and Trump in a razor close race in the state of Florida. Some of the support for President Trump coming from Latinos for Trump, who held a gathering before Biden's appearance. The numbers for President Trump are much higher than ever before, and you see it trending in areas that are even, you know, have traditionally been more blue, such as Miami-Dade County. Now, President Trump held his own, um, sorry, he had his uh, own appearance tonight on national television as part of a televised town hall. There he defended his handling of the coronavirus. Now, tomorrow, both men continue their campaigning again with less than 50 days before election. We're live in Kissimmee tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6, back to you. Eric, thank you.